When you switch to a camera's manual mode, it can be very intimidating. A lot of numbers and settings pop up. And one of them is ISO. And that is what we are going to talk about in this video. What it does and how by understanding ISO, you can get the shots that you desire. So ISO is basically your camera's sensitivity to light. Low ISO numbers mean low sensitivity and high ISO numbers mean high sensitivity. As you can see, this is a well lit environment. I have one big window here, one window here and I have two bulbs. Now the ISO for this environment is 1600 and I'd consider that to be ideal for this environment because as I can see in the picture the blacks are really black but I am not also missing the highlights as well. If I crank it too much too high, for example this is at ISO 3200. Now you can see that the picture got a little brighter and there is a bit of noise introduced in the video. Now let's move it up a little bit to 6400 and now you can see the noise more clearly and you can see it is getting brighter and brighter which I don't think is ideal for this situation. But let's just go even further at 12800. Now this is actually too much you cannot even see the wooden background of this picture and this is the maximum that my camera goes to 12800 now let's go back and this is at 1600 now let's let's go down a bit at 800 ISO you can see you are losing a bit of detail but there is even less noise uh, you cannot clearly see this area this area in the picture at 400 you are starting to lose a lot of details in the picture and uh, at 200 it is getting really dark and at 100 you can barely see the mic. Now ISO 100 would be ideal for environments that are even brighter than this environment like 12 p.m. on a sunny day. So this is all you need to know about ISO. If you're going to shoot at night you can keep those ISO numbers a bit higher and if you're going to shoot in a well lit environment you can keep those numbers a bit on the lower side. But keep in mind ISO is not the only setting that affects the quality of the pictures that you're going to take or the videos you're going to shoot. So if you want to know more about cameras, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll see you next video.